your wallet in the taxi. Yes, Father. Then tell me, what is that bulging in your coat pocket? This? This is a new one. Let me see it. It's a new one, I tell you. I want to see it. Liar! How would you like your classmates to know that you stole their money? No, Mother. I see the idea frightens you. And yet, it would be a good lesson. Why did you steal? Because... Go on. Because I needed the money. You wouldn't give it to me. What did you want the money for? Debts. What kind of debts? Just debts? What kind, I said? Gambling! Gambling! I thought so. Why did you lie? You wouldn't understand, Father. First, you steal and then you lie. When you thought that at home, don't I give you a generous allowance every month? Fifteen pesos isn't enough, Father. Fifteen pesos would be enough if you don't gamble. I never gamble! Until last week. <laughs> School life demands a bigger allowance. What you and your brothers get should be enough for all of you. In my time, I had only two pesos for my allowance, and I was fine with it. But you fail to understand, Father, that during your time, you had nowhere to go. Stop giving your father's lessons in anything you're about a mere yester. I'm not trying to criticize you, Father. I'm merely trying to explain my side. You will not get your allowance next month. I gave you 40 pesos to Mr. Sarte. But I need money, Father. You will not get your allowance the following month. What do you mean afford it? You will get your inheritance when I die, not before. I'm not talking about my inheritance, Father. Never mind, never mind. Go back to your room. Why, Father! You was a gamble! Insolent? Insolent. How dare you speak to your father that way, Jorge? Ramon, what happened? Nothing. I only know our children are growing wild. What can we do, Ramon? Tony ran away. Adelina. Look, and now Jorge, <coughs> why do they behave like this? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't. Buenas noches, Ramon. Ah, buenas noches, Carlos. Ven aquí, siéntate, por favor. Gracias. And how's Clemence lately? Ah, uh, she's a bit better. Do you want to see her? Later, later. I have something to tell you, Primo. Uh, what is it? It's a delicate matter. Uh, what about? One of your children. Oh, who is it this time? It's Gonzalo. Gonzalo? What about Gonzalo? I met Dr. Rosario this morning. You know him, don't you? Yes. Isn't he the specialist in uh, communicable diseases? Exactly. What about Gonzalo? Did he steal money too? What are you talking about? Well, uh, Jorge's professor Sarte was here just a moment ago. Jorge stole money? He claims he lost it, but it was a lie. We'll talk about that later. What about Gonzalo? <clears throat> well, I got to talking to Dr. Rosaro this morning. And when I invited him for a cup of coffee, he refused. Some other kind he said. And as he was about to go, he turned around and threw me aside. You are a close friend of Dorna Mont, aren't you? On my saying yes, he further inquired if I knew your children. Why, practically, they grew up on my knees. All of them, I answered. And he whispered to me, the reason for his hurry. And that was? And he said he had an appointment with your son, Gonzalo. Gonzalo, but we have a family doctor. That's just it. Dr. Leocadio is too intimate with the family. What are you driving at? Didn't you say just a minute ago that Dr. Rosaro is a specialist in communicable diseases? Yes, but... Well, Primo, sad to say, your son has BD. You mean 
Venereal disease? Yes, venereal disease. Impossible. I thought so too at that time. But I can't understand. At his age, he's only 16. Dr. Rosaro assured me Gonzalo has been receiving treatments. Aren't doctors bound by, by medical ethics? Naturally. But Dr. Rosaro, knowing you and how you brought up your children, he was so shocked himself that he felt he should tell you. Any chance? He assured me Gonzalo can be cured. Have you told the Dana? Certainly not. And she must never know. Suppose, suppose she... You promised me, Primo. You'll never let Gonzalo suspect even by a slight hint. But how? Even if I, even if I keep quiet about it, somehow he will, he will sense. If he learns that you know his secret, it will make matters worse. But, but you say it isn't enough to cure the body. The soul must be nourished too. That this should happen to me, Ramon. For everything that's dear to you, I beg of you. Don't show by a slight gesture attitude. Your pity or contempt for Gonzalo. Please and promise me, Primo. And after all his education and his training, we've got to save him from further mental destruction. He must be suffering enough. And he who I thought the most innocent of my children. Pull yourself together, Ramon. You mustn't give up. But the disgrace, the disgrace on whom? On me, on the family. Your disgrace? How about Gonzalo? Do you think she likes having it? I thought that we still not like his sweetness. Can't you see that way, poor Ramon? Or must you be selfish? You think only of yourself. I am thinking not only of myself, I am also thinking of Gonzalo. Ramon, you're making a mess out of your children's life somehow. Me? How dare you suggest? Their lives are not their own. They have everything at home. Yes, everything, but their liberty. They have liberty. The liberty of tyranny. Be brave enough to face the facts. I am the man of this house, and I know what I'm doing. Then don't complain on how your children are turning out. It's their fault, their rebellion, their ingratitude. Their rebellion is caused by what? By their own energy, which needs an outlet? You sound like some self-righteous headshrinker. I talk as a friend. In my time, my father brought me up in this way, and we grew up normal. But not my children. That's why I'm bringing them up the way I was brought up. I am afraid the penalty will be painful. What penalty? Can't you see it? I can only see that my children's will must be broken. You can't do it. Why do you think I didn't end up? Why did Tony run away? Why did Jorge steal the money? And why did Gonzalo get BD? Come on. Your children confide in me freely. So I've noticed. By the way, where's Flavio? He was supposed to have been home two hours ago. I fear for him too. <coughs> what do you mean? He's too reserved. I know a lot of people who are reserved. In Flavio's case, it isn't normal. His reserve is secrecy. What's the difference? Some people are deserved, but somehow they are transparent in many ways. One may know more or less in advance on how to react in certain situations, but not with Flavio. Flavio is too dangerous to deserve. I wonder. Flavio has been coming home late several times. Do you know where he goes? Neither do I. Someday I'll tell you why I act this way. Do you mean? No, 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 not now. I have to go out. I have to get some distraction. Where to? To the club, for a game or two. But your daughter is not feeling well. She's not that sick. Tio Barnas, Tio Barnas, I didn't know you were here. Good evening, my child. Oh, good evening, Tio Barnas. Let us eat Yes, please, father. Please tell the driver to get the car. Why, going out, father? Yes, I'm going to the club. But, but mother just put some clean shirts on your bed, father. Father. Uh, Teresita. Yes, Tio Barnos. How's Gonzalo? He's in his room, Tio Barnos. I see. Tio Barnos, I've noticed something, something unusual about him lately. Unusual? 
Joshua? Yes, dear Carlos. He suddenly become very, very silent and morose. It has never been that way before, Tio Carlos. Oh, my child, we all have our depressing moods. But it's different in his case, dear Carlos. Well, he seems, he seems sick. Ah, oh, Teresita, we have a vivid imagination. Oh, mother, mother, will you say that Tio Carlos, I shall tell the driver to bring out the car. Why? Well, father's going out. He told me you wouldn't. He just told me a minute ago, Mother. You need a rest too, Carla. And how's Clementia? Uh, she refuses to lie down. Senora Carla, I'm going to go to Senor Ramon. Sabi mo, pupunta na ako kamo. Apo, Carlos, please excuse me. Go right ahead, Carla. Senor Carlos, I didn't know you were here. Apo, Zalo, good to see you. Come here. Keep me company. Yes, you. You always trust me, Gonzalo, don't you? I want you to be frank with me. Do you, I mean, do you go out with girls? <laughs> girls? You know the kind I mean. You don't know my being tough, don't you? We've always been frank with each other. Uh, I don't get it either. You can trust me, Gonzalo. I want to help you. Do you, do you go out with girls for her? I met Dr. Rosaro this morning. Dr. Rosaro! Then what did he tell me? Do you know? Yes, Gonzalo. I know. Tell me. You know. Why? You know. Yes, Gonzalo. You know. Why did you do it? Gonzalo, why did you do it? You wouldn't understand me, yo! Perhaps I know. But I want to hear it from your lips. You want to know? I want the truth. You were lonely? Yes? Yes. I was. I am lonely. Nobody seems to care. People call me names. A fairy! I just want to prove them that I'm just like the other guys. So when I went to that kind of woman, looking for someone who could be, who would. I understand. But what a painful mistake you made. Now you must pay the price. It may seem the end of the world for you. But it isn't. Come, Gonzalo. Let's go to your room and talk things over. What is it, Gonzalo? I'm nothing in Parna. Gonzalo doesn't feel well. I'm helping him out of this room. What's wrong? Does he have fever? No, mother! <laughs> <laughs> 